Now that we have made the final adjustments to the up section of the valve, we can proceed with the final adjustments on the down side of the valve in the following order. DL down leveling. Car at upper floor with no load. Turn DC clockwise eight and a half turns from fully open position. Disconnect D1. Register a down call. Adjust DL to set down leveling speed at seven to nine feet per minute. Reconnect D1. DM down main. Car at upper floor with no load. Register a down call. Turn DM clockwise for slower speed or counterclockwise for faster speed to set down speed at 25% less than contract full load speed. When adjusting the DM on the TC valve, make sure that DSC is open by turning it counterclockwise to stop. No adjustment is required once DSC has been activated. DC down closing. Cycle empty car and observe down stop. Turn DC clockwise, softer stop, or counterclockwise, firmer stop until down stop is satisfactory. DT down transition. Before going over the DT adjustment, let's review the basic operations of the down section of the valve. This is a simplified schematic of the down section showing the jack side, tank side, and pilot system. DC is the main input port to the pilot system. Jack side oil flows through DC to the cavity behind the down piston. This generates the force necessary to close the piston. DA is the main output port from the pilot system. Once the two normally closed down solenoid valves are open, pressure in the down piston cavity is depleted and the piston opens. Once the car reaches a slowdown zone, the D1 solenoid valve closes and the cavity behind the down piston starts to pressurize. As a result, the down piston starts to close. The closing rate of the down piston controls down transition and is a function of oil flow through the D2 solenoid valve. The DT adjuster provides additional control over the closing rate of the down piston, therefore additional control over the down transition. Now let's review how to adjust DT if necessary. Just like the UT and US adjusters in the up section, DT also has an ineffective zone when it is being adjusted from its preset or default position. The following procedure helps in quickly cutting through this ineffective zone and bringing the DT adjuster to where it becomes effective. If DT requires adjustment, send car to upper floor. Disconnect D1. Register a down call. Car should come down at leveling speed. Turn DT counterclockwise until car speeds up, then slowly clockwise until car slows down again. Reconnect D1. Cycle the car and turn DT counterclockwise for slower transition or clockwise for faster transition until down transition is satisfactory. Readjust DL to maintain down leveling at 7 to 9 feet per minute. Slow down switch should be located to give three to four inches of stabilized leveling. DA down acceleration. Car at upper floor with no load. Turn DA clockwise to stop. Register a down call. Car should not move. Turn DA slowly counterclockwise until car breaks away from the floor. Then turn DA clockwise slower or counterclockwise faster until down acceleration is satisfactory. 